What's up guys, welcome back to Fancy Goldfish Fanatics. Today we are here shooting part two at Maple Koi, so make sure you stay tuned to find out more. Hey Fanatics family, welcome back. Make sure you check out those links in the description and check out our website. Today, as I said, we are here at Maple Koi shooting part two. If you haven't already seen the first part of the video, then go and check it out. This time we're gonna be bowling up some of the Tosai, which are the one-year-old Koi in this pond right here. We're gonna be going through them, having a little look at them, looking at the qualities and the negatives to each fish and sort of comparing them to goldfish and how they are similar and slightly different as well. So without further ado, we're gonna start netting and bowling some of them up and then we're gonna go and have a look at them. Here you can see we are starting to bowl up some of the tosai. We just had to catch them up with the net. Obviously this is quite different to fancies. The fancies are much slower. So it is a lot easier just to catch them with your hands. Here we use a Japanese net and then a koi sock. The koi sock is made of soft material and when wet, it makes sure the fish don't get damaged when you move them from the net to the bowl or wherever you're transporting them to. As these are quite small koi, we don't need to support the body so much. If we were supporting larger fish, maybe sansai or three-year-old fish or older, we might use a waterproof koi sock. This helps support the body and the undercarriage of the fish so that it doesn't get any damage when moving. So here we go, we're just releasing some of the fish into the bowl. First up, we've got a selection of five Shiro Utsuris, which are the black and white koi, and one larger Showa, which is the black, white, and red koi. Now, the Shiro Utsuris can be compared to the Cow Ranchu. I'll just put an image of one of those on the screen here, with the white base and the black on top. Now, generally, with Shiro Utsuris, the black will darken and deepen as they get older. However, with the cow ranchu, this black is more prominent and slightly more stable than we find in the koi. So the koi will change and develop as they get older and they will change a lot more than the goldfish tend to. We're gonna now look at the fish in individually. We're gonna hold them up to the camera slightly and then we're gonna talk through the positives and negatives. This one I would say is the best one of the bowl. The Sumi is quite strong. It's got a nice clean head and a really good skin quality. This will make quite a nice fish as it gets older. The negative potentially is slightly more black towards the tail, which may overrule the koi as it gets older. This one also has quite a lot of black on the tail, but this one has a slightly clearer head and slightly more of a pattern to it, which will change and develop as it gets older. You may see it has some underlying blue hueness to it, and this is actually Sumi slowly coming up through the fish that will deepen and darker as it gets older. Many of these koi won't get to their full potential until maybe four, six, even eight years old, and they're always changing and developing, which is quite different when we're selecting goldfish. Generally, a tricolour goldfish may change as it gets older. However, not on the scale that the koi do. A lot of these koi we are buying, we are buying for their future potential. Now, the Japanese call this tatigoi, and tatigoi are fish that have that future potential, but they keep to grow on as they believe they can get far more money for them in the future. Now, this is quite a nice one, nicer face mask effect on it. You can really see that blue slowly coming up through the fish, which will develop and strengthen as it gets older. There is a nice break as well in the pattern before the tail, which is quite desirable. We want to see that tail tube with a nice clean and clear cut pattern with a nice gap between it. Finally, onto the show at the end. This has got quite a nice red stepping stone pattern and we would potentially call this a tricolor in the goldfish world. We don't tend to see too many tricolor ranchus or arandas compared to the koi industry where the showa is one of the most prominent fish you can get. 
I quite like this fish, it had quite a good black deep sumi already and I'm sure this will fish will develop nicely as it gets older. This is only under one year old as well and already around 25 centimeters, so quite a good strong sized fish that potentially will grow quite bigger as it gets older. So next up we started to select some different koi, we started to net up some Kugani achievers and some more of the blingy style fish with the ginrin and metallic effect. So as you can see we are using the koi sock again to safely transport these fish so they do not get damaged. As I say, if you are interested in any of these fish, they are available at Maple Koi based in Surrey. This video is purely just to show you the qualities and the, the weaknesses of each fish and also compare them to that goldfish hobby as well, because after all, this is mainly a goldfish channel. So here you can see we've got some really nice bling and we're actually going to add some more fish to the bowl so we can really see that comparison in the different varieties and different styles of fish. Now not only are we looking for the pattern, the skin quality and the luster of the fish, but we're also really looking for that body shape. I'd say when you start out through the koi and potentially the goldfish hobby, really you're looking for that colour, that vibrant colour, the nice pattern. However, I would say as you develop and go through that process, you start to look more at the body shape and more at the potential future size that fish will ascertain. Now here we've got two lovely heat series, really nice quality fish and these are compar comparable to, to the Tiger Ranchu. Actually I've just noticed this one here is actually a shower but there is hardly any white on the fish and you can clearly see on the heat series there is no white present. It's got a nice dark black base with a nice orange pattern overlaying it. Now slightly different, this one is actually a key at Suri, which means yellow and black. So it's got a nice checkerboard pattern over the fish which should develop nicely as it gets older. I'd say now we go on to these more blingy style fish. They are slow, slightly more related to the wild carp or the wild koi. So the body shape on these are slightly better and generally they will get to a larger bigger size. They've got a large frame and you can generally see that these fish are slightly larger than the other varieties in the bowl. They've got lovely ginrin, look at the scales, the bling is just absolutely stunning and in the sunlight that looks absolutely amazing. These are similar to the Sakura style fish in the goldfish hobby and clearly this Benigoy here is very similar to the orange goldfish we get with lovely ginrin all over the body. So next up we're going to pick up a tancho here, it's got lovely ginrin and really good white skin. The tancho spot is not as desirable as we'd like to see, it is not that perfect round spot that represents the Japanese flag, however it's still a nice pond fish overall, no show winner but a nice fish overall. We'd like to see the patterns a little bit more crisp and more solidified if that makes sense. Now we're onto a Karasigoi, which is a Deutz fish, similar to, as I said, to a Sakura goldfish. Got some lovely Ginrin scales on it, but this is actually a Deutz fish, so it doesn't have any scales. Only the larger scales are the ones that you see. Next up, let's take a look at this Akamatsuba. So this has a dark netting pattern all across the back with a main orange body. Now this darkens as the fish gets older generally and it can depend on your water quality and water hardness as to how this fish will develop, similar to a Shiratsuri. Now you may be fooled this isn't actually a Shiratsuri because it's got a little bit of red in it so that fish would have been called a Showa. Now this is a slightly new rarer variety called a Ginga which is like a silver ghosty style koi. A metallic fish which has really nice luster and these metallic fish look absolutely great in the sun. Here we go, a classic kahaku. And this is actually a ginring kahaku, very similar to those of the red and white ranchu. And that's it for this bowl of fish. I thought it was quite interesting to compare the different varieties and compare them back to the goldfish hobby. So that's it, I hope you enjoyed this video. I thought it was really interesting comparing the koi to the goldfish side of the hobby and comparing the differences and the similarities. I hope you enjoyed this video. In the future, we are gonna be also getting some more koi on the channel and we're actually gonna be doing some koi surgery. So if you wanna see that, it's gonna be a really interesting video. So make sure you stay tuned for that one and hit that subscribe button. 
that's it as always remember to keep those water changes up and happy fish keeping <laughs>